This is day 7 of Advent Code and the challenge is called No Space Left on Device, so let's get started. You can hear birds chirping and raindrops hitting leaves as the expedition proceeds. Occasionally, you can hear much louder sounds in the distance. How big do the animals get out here anyway? The device the elves gave you had problems with more than just its communication system. You try to run a system update. System dash update, dash dash please, dash dash pretty please with sugar on top. Error, no space left on device. Perhaps you can delete some files to make space for the update. You browse around the file system to assess the situation and save the resulting terminal output, the puzzle input. For example, cd slash lsdra, bunch of files, drd, etc. The file system consists of a tree of files, plain data, and directories which can contain other directories or files. The outermost directory is called slash. You can navigate around the file system, moving into or out of directories and listing the contents of the directory you're currently in. Within the terminal output, Lines that begin with dollar sign are commands you executed, very much like some modern computers. CD means change directory. This changes which directory is the current directory, but the specific result depends on the argument. CD X moves in one level. It looks in the current directory for the directory named X and makes it the current directory. CD dot dot moves out one level. It finds the directory that contains the current directory, then makes that directory the current directory. CD slash switches the current directory to the outermost directory slash ls means list. It prints out all the files and directories immediately contained by the current directory. 123 ABC means that the current directory contains a file named ABC with size 123. DRXYZ means that the current directory contains a directory named XYZ. Given the commands and outputs in the example above, you can determine that the file system looks visually like this. Here there are four directories slash, the outermost directory, A and D which are in slash, and E which is in A. These directories all contain files of various sizes. So you've got slash, and there's A, D, then inside A, there's E, and then inside E, there's file I, etc. Since the disk is full, your first step should probably be to find directories that are good candidates for deletion. To do this, you need to determine the total size of each directory. The total size of a directory is the sum of the sizes of the files it contains, directly or indirectly. Directories themselves do not count as having an intrinsic size. The total size of the directories above can be found as follows. The total size of directory E is 584 because it contains a single file, I, of size 584, and no other directories. The directory A has a total size of 94853, which contains files F, size 29116, G, 2557, and HLST, 62596, plus the file I indirectly, as A contains directory E. Directory D has a total size of that number as the, outermo as the outermost directory, slash contains every file, its total size is that the sum of every file. To begin, find all of the directories with a size total of at most 100,000. Then calculate the sum of their total sizes. In the example above, these directories are E, R, A, and E. The sum of their total sizes is 95,437 plus 584. As in this example, this process can count files more than once. Find all the directories with a total size of at most 100,000. What is the sum of the total sizes of those directories? So let's grab our puzzle input and we will copy this into our input file. And let's make start off with for each var line in input. And let's take a look at the input file. Okay, so I guess the approach to this is just going line by line. So dollar sign is command. So if it starts with a dollar sign, then you want to split it by a space and then you read index 1 for what the command is. If it's cd, then you go to index 2 for where the directory is. Otherwise, if it's ls, run that. So I guess let's make a start kind of with this. If line dot substring 0, 1 equals dollar sign command. So we're going to start off very basic with how we approach this as this challenge looks like it's going to be difficult, so I'm going to take it one thing at a time. Okay, so that worked for command. So we will then do var command equals line dot split, and we'll split it by space. We'll do if command one equals cd, we will do console dot write line, and this will be change directory to command two. Then we'll do else if command one equals ls we will do list files in 
directory and then what we will do is we'll have a variable for current directory oh we, this will also this will actually need to be a tree so so equals new list string so when you do cd it will do current directory dot actually what we'll do is if command two equals dot dot current directory dot remove at current directory dot count minus one else current directory dot add command two and then for here we'll do current directory then current directory dot count minus one so let's run this again just to see if we got everything right here actually even better we'll do what we will do is str I think the command is string dot join and then we'll put I think the commands like this or maybe for this it needs to be like that ah we'll just do string current cd2 and then we'll just do this cd2 here actually we'll change this to elster cd dir okay let's run that and see if it does how I want it to be nope cannot convert from string list to car okay I need to search how to do what I was wanting so you have list okay I had it other way around and actually I want not commas I want it to be slashes so we do it like that okay now let's run it okay that seems to be how I wanted it but there's two slashes at the beginning which is incorrect okay I might need to change that I'm just going to quick create a quick string function here Okay, let's see if that did it correctly. Nope. Okay, now let's go. Okay, now it's displaying correctly. So we need to figure out the best way to... Okay, let's read the challenge again. So, find all the directories with a total size of, at most, 100,000. Then calculate the sum of the total sizes. Okay, so let's continue with what we're doing here. So, we've got the dollar signs, so CD. So we need to somehow build the directory tree and have all the files in it with their sizes. Not too sure how to do that. I think we can probably just ignore duh, the directories. So for in slash, we can just do like, you know, I've got an idea. So we will do, this will be a new dictionary of string and int. And what we will do is when, uh, when we go through the inputs here like this and we have the number for the sake of simplicity we'll do if it's dollar sign else if three equals the else and then in here will be where the size is I think yep so we'll then do var file equals line split then we will do dictionary size and we will get the current directory and we will plus equal it with file 0 convert int32 file let's see if that works ok I thought convert was like that, ok let's just see how c sharp convert oh that's convert class ok I was half right ok let's rerun that the key slash was not present in the dictionary Okay, well first, if dot contains key, if it doesn't contain key of this, we will do this equals zero, and then run that. Okay, so that seems to work. So I'm going to comment out some of these prints, as they're not very useful, and we will n now include in this one. Okay, let's take a look at this. I think with this one, actually, let's try find all the directories and what is the sum. I think with this implementation, we can just literally go through this dictionary and just sum it all up. So, C sharp iterate through dictionary values. Okay, I can just do that. So, outside of this for each, 
we have int output equals zero. We will then do for dictionary size for each item in dictionary if item dot value is greater than one hundred thousand output plus equals item dot value. Then when that's done, we will do a console dot right line output dot to string. Okay, let's give that a run. Okay, we've got this number here. Let's submit it and see if that works. Okay, that number is too high. Okay, what I might do is do a print like this in here. So do item value here, then item key here. Just comment out these other prints as we don't need them at the moment. Okay, it looks like most things are above 100,000. Was 100,000 that we needed for the number? Find all of the directories with the total size of at most. Oh, right, at most. Wait. Okay, at most. So it's less less than or equal to, I think. Okay, that's a lower number. Let's submit that and see if that's correct. Okay, now it's saying too low. I'm not fully understanding what it is I'm expected to do. Find all directories with a total size of at most 100,000. Then calculate the sum of their total sizes. So A and E. So E has 584. A has this. Okay, I guess we gotta grab this input and try that. Actually, we gotta grab from here. Okay, now let's try that. I mean, it's worked correctly here. Wait, the sum of the total sizes is, is 95437. Oh, it's because I'm not... So the parent directory the way I have it, the parent directory doesn't have the sizes of its children ones. Okay, that makes sense. So I'll need to do some... Where am I adding these? So what I'll need to do is with the current directory, it'll have all the numbers slash separated, Then I can break it apart by removing slash, 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 slash. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be doing some... I'm going to do some weird thing with this. Okay, I want to see if this works. So, we have the directory and it's going to have a bunch of slashes. We are going to, with that directory, oh, I forgot to do the if statement check in here. So, we'll add the value to the dir. We're going to split it. So, it's going to have all the separated uh, without slashes. We're going to remove the last one. Then we're going to rebuild it with the slashes. And then we're going to go through again and do that. But I'm not... I'm not confident that's going to work, so that's why I put this print statement there, but let's see. Okay, that did not work. So we'll need to do a check whether dir equals just a slash, we will break from it. Okay, now let's rerun it. Okay, so need a... what's the best way to do this? Because it's turning it into... okay, because it's turning it into array, that's a problem. We'll then do dot to list, and then we will dot remove at... Okay, I think that's how we'll fix it. Okay, that actually worked with the test input. So we will wanna move this to the very top of the page and we are going to use the actual input. Now let's rerun it. Okay, let's see if this number is actually correct. There we go. That is part one complete. That took far longer than I thought it would and this challenge is definitely more difficult than the other ones. So kind of scared to see what part two is like. Now, you're ready to choose a directory to delete. The total disk space available for the file system is 70 million. To run the update, you need unused space of at least 30 million. You need to find a directory you can delete that will free up enough space to run the update. In the example above, the total size of the outermost directory, and thus the total amount of use space, is this number. This means that the size of the unused space must currently be that number, which isn't quite the... 30 million required by the update. Therefore, the update still requires a directory with a total size of this number to be deleted before it can run. To achieve this, you have the following out options. 
delete directory E, which would increase any space for this, delete this for this, and then delete this for this. Directories E and A are both too small, deleting them would not free up enough space. However, directories D and slash are both big enough. Between them, the smallest is D, increasing only space by that amount. Find the smallest directory that, if deleted, would free up enough space on the file system to run the update. What is the total size of the directory? Okay, I think that's not too difficult to do, actually. So I'm going to quickly go through uh, part one and clean things up a bit, because there's a bunch of stuff that's unneeded. Okay, we'll now copy this to part two, and we'll make sure to make it run part two. So let's look at the numbers again. So in the example above, the total size of the outermost directory, and thus the total amount of use space, is this number. This means that the size of the unused space must currently be this, which isn't quite the... Okay, so we'll need to... Let's see what the amount of space in slashes. So we can grab directory size, slash into string, so let's run that and see how much... Okay, that doesn't seem right, does it? I thought it would have been much larger than that, so let's, let's just see what this looks like. Yeah, slash should have been more. Okay, I'm going to change this print statement. Oh, break. So it prints out what just slash by itself is currently at, because the root directory should have been way more than that. Okay, there is definitely something wrong with this. Because every single one should be adding to it. Maybe we should just do a blanket blanket statement of just um where we're we looking. So directory size. Let's add a key value of just slash zero. And then before the while loop, we will just do plus equals. Because it should definitely be adding to it. Let me let's just go back to here and print this. Okay, that number looks more like it, 47 million. So if we go back, so unused space needs to be this. We will then do required space equals min unused minus this, all the way around. The current maximum minus that. And are we putting in, what is the total size? Find the smallest directory that, if deleted, would free up enough space on the file system running up. What is the total size? Okay. Yep, so int smallest size so equals int 32 dot max value so for each thing in here we will do if required space is less than item dot value and item dot value is less than smallest size then smallest size equals item dot value I think this is how we do it. And we'll just print out a small size. Let's give that a shot. Okay, that looks like it could be it. So let's grab this value and let's submit it and see if it worked. No, that was not right. Answer is too high. Okay, let's do print seems here. I'm just gonna print out a bunch of things here. So we'll do that. Then this and required space. Just wanna see what those numbers are. So we need to remove 17 million but apparently the closest number is 32 million that doesn't sound right at all let's take a look at what the question is saying again so in this case this is how much is used and to get now the total amount is this the size of unused space must currently be okay i don't have this right okay we need to change these numbers around so int max space equals this int current unused equals max space minus directory size so required space would then be min unused minus current unused that's how it will work I'm pretty sure okay so apparently 7.4 million is the uh, smallest directory size that we can delete okay awesome that was part 2 completed day 7 of advent of code was by far more difficult than the previous days so if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you can watch me complete more Advent of Crew 2022 challenges.